to many, solving a Rubik's Cube puzzle is a headache. However, this is not the case for John Muthai, a grade 7 student from St. Xavier Junior Secondary School. The sub-15 seconds champion is currently the top seed in Nakuru County and the 2023 national champion in speed cubing under the juniors category. So my name is John Muthai. I live in Akuru. I study at St. Xavier's Primary School uh, and I'm in grade 7, junior secondary. I started cubing last year when I was in grade 6 on February. I remember it was lunchtime and my friend Gifton had a cube, uh, a 3 by 3 one, and he, uh, he was trying to solve one color. Then I told him to help him, then he tried to solve all of it, but it was difficult. Then he, he gave me his cube first, then I went with it home. I started learning at a YouTuber called JPAM. It took me one week to solve it. During the process, it was very difficult. I used to stay up until like 12 midnight trying to solve it. But when I finally got it, it was easy and my friends were impressed. I, I started teaching them and my experience has been very good. It has educated me. Every time I'm, I'm, I'm free, I, I cube. It, keep, it keeps my mind busy all the time and it's enjoyable. Learning about Rubik's Cube for the first time from his son, Gladys Kinywa, was a bit reserved on allowing John to engage in this sport, let alone buy the Rubik's Cube he was asking for. I remember the first time John came home from school and said he wants a Rubik's Cube. I couldn't understand what's a Rubik's Cube because Sikuai jua, uh, Sikuai uh, before then kujua what is a Rubik's Cube. Nani kakua very hesitant ata kumunulia. And I remember one day we were looking for some books for school, uh, some textbook ambazo mwalima likuwa misama tununue in town. Nikaenda kununue hizo vitabu. Alafu junia kakua very persistent. Mau ni baie Rubik's Cube, inatokanga 2300, inatokanga 2300. You know, when mtoto wana kusumbua sana, unasema, ah, okay, wacha ni mnunulia. Nika mnunulia yu Rubik's Cube. So that's how John started Rubik's Cube. Na akaanza kujitrain, kujitrain, and then akaanza ku, you know, kuomba simu, mamu nataka kuona videos on YouTube, hile wanafanya. And it reached a point, uh, I realized it's something very serious for him. And that's when I decided to fully support him. As fate would have it, the young champ would attend the first competition after coming across a Rubik's Cube challenge poster in his school as he was conducting his errands. Yeah, it was, I, when I was here at school, at, when I was sweeping, I saw a poster here on the board, on our notice board. I saw 3D learning at the library competition and I was interested. Then I went and told my mother that there's a competition next week and please pay for me and she paid that's when I met Mike and he has been, I, that competition I won, they got interested in me because I was solving faster than everybody. Then the next day I came to the library, he started practicing me, he has been teaching me new things, encouraging me, taking, taking me to competitions and he even brought it to school now. Now some few learners are learning how to solve it and cubing is growing in our school. John, a World Cube Association member, has dominated all Rubik's Cube competition in Nakuru since February 2022 in the 3x3 Cube events. And currently, he holds the 2023 national record of 12.75 seconds best solve time. So the first competition I went, it was last year in Nakuru here at the library, national library. I became number one and... The second competition also it was here at the library, I became number one. The third one was in Kericho, I became number one. And then I went to the national level at, at Nairobi, where I registered it at WC, which stands for World Cubing Association. That's where the, the world, record, world records become official and your time become official. And I went there and met different people from different countries. And I still managed to become number one. And the experience was good. The competition there are very nice. And people are very supportive. To get insight on how to solve a Rubik's Cube, Michael Makanga, a 3D trainer from Nakuru, who doubles as John's trainer, demonstrates on how to solve a Rubik's Cube using the beginner's method. I am Michael Makanga. 
from 3D learning program. 3D simply means three-dimensional. So at 3D, we have been around since 2018, uh, whereby we have been using uh, three-dimensional resources to advance learning to children. So here with me is a scrambled Rubik's Cube, and I'm going to take you through the uh, beginner's method so that everybody can understand, especially those who have started. So I'm going to create a white course here as the first step. So I will insert what I call the edge pieces with me. See that the cube now is entirely solved. 